are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about ESPN and Henry Rogers, also known as Ibram et Skindy. Because, guys, when uh, racism is pretty low, you got to make it up. And it definitely seems like ESPN decided to make up racism for this documentary with Henry Rogers. This man is dangerous, man. His rhetoric is dangerous. His anti-racism stuff, all it is just means be racist. He should actually just call it that. He should actually just come out and say, hey, I'm racist because that's what he truly is. He's racist. Now, this um, I believe is a five part series on ESPN Plus. Outkick has actually been reviewing the episodes. I didn't know that. But on this one particular one, they actually review Latin players coming over into America. And naturally, Henry Rogers believes that it is racist that these baseball players actually have to play baseball in Major League Baseball in an American way. What? Yeah, I, I don't get this. I grew up playing baseball. The rules are pretty simple here. OK, so there may be rules that are different, you know, from league to league or whatever. You know, maybe in one league you can actually do the shift, that kind of thing. Maybe the base is a little bit longer. The bats a little bit bigger. It's minor stuff. But for the most part, the idea is simple. The pitcher, he throws the ball. The hitter at the plate swings the ball. What's controversial about that? The batter hits the ball. And if he hits a home run, it's a home run. So I don't know. They're making up stuff where it does not exist. I believe like the vast majority of Major League Baseball is Latino players. It is. I don't think there's anything racist about that, but we're talking about Ibram X. Kendi here. So naturally, they have to find racism some kind of way. So let's go ahead and get into this. Look at this here. On Outkick here. ESPN Ibram X. Kendi documentary says MLB forces Latino players to learn white American style of baseball. White American style. What does that exactly mean right there? I'm not really sure. But like I said, when you actually play in Major League Baseball, it's not white baseball. It's just baseball. Certain rules may be different, you know. Like now we actually have a pitch clock for the pitch on the mound. I believe it's like uh, 15 seconds. And uh, just the other day, last night, actually, um, Christian Javier, who is Latino, by the way, and black, was actually on the mound for my Astros and the um, and the twins uh, crowd. They were actually doing a countdown on the pitch clock for him. Yeah, trying to throw him off. But he shut them down bit time last night. But let's go ahead and get into this here. Because this is just utterly ridiculous, man. They're making up stuff here. And they're just trying to make everybody racist, I believe. Look here. It says episode four titled America's Pastime, which is baseball. ESPN and Ibram X. Kendi decided to take a break from focusing only on black athletes and shift to Latino players in Major League Baseball for episode four. Thousands of Latin American baseball players dream of making it to the United States and playing in Major League Baseball. Some of them flee from horrible situations, yet ESPN and Kenny made the claim that, you guessed it, the country is racist against them. Fascinating how many non-white people from around the world are willing to risk their lives to get into this horrible racist nation. Now, I can tell you guys the story of uh, Jose Altuve, who's who's going to go to the Hall of Fame when he's done playing for the Houston Astros. Jose Altuve is only five foot six. Me and him are the same height. He went to an Astros um, camp when he was like 16 years old. And eventually he ended up getting a contract. Jose Altuve is making a whole bunch of money in this quote unquote racist nation. And by the way, he came from uh, Venezuela which is actually run by communists. 
So I'm pretty sure he doesn't want to be there. Also, by the way, Jordan Alvarez, who has four home runs in the postseason so far this year, is from communist Cuba. He defected to come over to this quote unquote racist nation. And he is a black Cuban player. This doesn't make any sense. But it says here, the episode begins with Kendi saying that people think Latin American baseball players are bad for baseball. What? Who is actually saying this? I'm pretty sure that the Boston Red Sox fans, they're not saying that uh, Bit Poppy, David Ortiz, was bad for baseball. I'm pretty sure they love Bit Poppy. And I actually call uh, Jordan Alvarez Little Poppy because he's a big guy like Bit Poppy. He's batting on left handed and he hits a whole bunch of home runs. This is ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. They're just making up stuff here. So check this out. Kendi lays out the idea that Latin American players are forced to assimilate into American culture when they get here. What? These journalists make the argument that it's wrong to think immigrants to think immigrants to this uh, country should try to fit in with the American culture. I believe that they should. Now, check this out. If I was to actually go over to, let's say, the Dominican Republic, guess what? I'm going to assimilate to their culture as well. Let's say that um, I'm over here and I'm learning uh, Spanish and I speak Spanish. But over there in the Dominican, they actually speak a different version of Spanish. They actually uh, drop the S's on their words. If you guys are familiar with uh, Spanish, general Spanish, you actually do um, pronounce the S's. But over there, they drop the S's over there. It's like Andalusian Spanish, but I don't want to get too far into that. So, yes, I'm going to adjust to their culture. That is not racist. Nobody's actually forcing you to do that. But I would do that. I mean, I've been all over the world, guys. All over the world. And I remember one time I went to Turkey when I was in the Navy. And one of the traditions out there, you know, culturally, by the way, is that when you walk in, you actually take a lemon water and you splash it on your face. Yeah. So we were actually doing that when we were over there. That is a part of the culture. What is racist about that? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It doesn't make any sense. When I went to Rio, Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Yeah. I was eating Brazilian food, assimilating to the culture. This is th- this guy, man. I, I don't know, man. They, they just make up stuff, make up stuff. How in the world is it racist to assimilate to a culture? It doesn't make any sense to me. None whatsoever. It goes on here. And it talks about uh, Kendi's commentary exposes um, his racism. Uh, this is how you know that that all these anti racists are really just racist. Here's what they're actually saying. If people immigrate to America, they don't have to learn the language or the customs. And we need to accept that. Why? Because we're America. We're better. Plus, they don't know any better. Those countries, uh, though, you can't expect them to have the same standard that we have in the United States. It's funny. All the people. That shout the loudest about how horrible the U.S. is sure hold the country to a very high standard. You think they wouldn't. After all, what do you expect from racist America, right? And uh, let's see here. The next voice we hear in the episode is Ada uh, Rodriguez, uh, who's uh, fronted as a comedian. OK, I don't know much about her, but this is what she says. Quote, assimilation is a very touchy topic. When it comes to Latinos, because many of them see it as a positive thing. Rodriguez begins. Then like we're here, we're in America. What's wrong with being an American? I don't think there's anything wrong with being an American. Nothing. I mean, to me, America is the greatest country on the planet. But to the woke races out there, America is the most racist country on the planet. I mean, they're just. They're making up stuff. They're making up stuff, man. I mean, Ibram X. Kennedy, man, his rhetoric is dangerous. It is really, really dangerous. They're just going to go out there, make up stuff, 
And you actually have Ibram X. Kendi suggesting that um, MLB is making um, is making these uh, Latino baseball players play a white version of the game. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It makes zero sense. There's nothing wrong with adjusting to the rules of the game here. But to the Wolves out there, everything is racist. Everything. Playing baseball is racist. This is dangerous stuff, man, because there's probably going to be young kids that actually watch this. Well, probably not so much on this one because um, this show is actually on ESPN+. Plus. But still, Ibram S. Kennedy is a moron. Ibram X. Kennedy makes up racism. Why? Because he is a racist. And ESPN actually gave this man a platform. This is ridiculous, man. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.